We're going to do a quick video on BHC Stock News. That's Bush Health Companies. And we've got a daily chart up here for you. It's got three moving averages. It's got a green five day, a red 20 day, and a blue 200 day moving average. We're going to scoot back here to March roughly of uh, 2021 and see it put in the top uh, right around the $34 level there. And um, that was the peak of that latest bull market. And then you can see it came across and bumped right into the 200 day moving average. It, it kind of oscillated back and climbed it a little bit and then broke through and started its bear market right around September of 2021. It got into its bear market kind of curving down and uh, following the 200 day or some people would say the 200 followed it. And then uh, basically something or someone got a hold of it in uh, April of 2022, this spring, or, and uh, just basically took it out back and uh, trashed it and drove it all the way down here initially to about $9, $9.27. So that was a tremendous drop for this stock, more than 50%. We then had some sideways consolidation. Notice how far we got away from the 200 day moving average, which is almost always gonna drive us to go sideways or rally hard up. In this case, we went sideways from about May 11th all the way over to July 28th, at which time we slammed it right back down again and uh, we're down uh, over 50% in one day from $8.75 to $4 on uh, July 28th. So that really took the starch out of the stock for a lot of people, I'm sure. P stock is still firmly in a bear market. You can see that it respected the 20 day all the way down, went sideways where these moving averages basically become worthless, and then went down again uh, and sideways again, putting these moving averages, the 20 and the five, basically they're worthless at this point. What we can get from moving averages is 200 day moving average. Price is roughly oscillating around $5.85. That's very rough. And the moving average is right now about 16. So doesn't, you know, doesn't take a genius to figure out one of two things have to happen. We either need to go sideways in the stock quite a bit until we catch up to the, to the moving average, which is probably could, could be as much as uh, the middle of November to go sideways from here. Or we need a strong rally up to try to catch the 200 day moving average to around the $11 mark by the end of October. So if you want to put this stock just still in a bear market, but up from where we are, we need a really good rally from here. We need the price to get and stay above the 20 day moving average. We need the five day moving average uh, looking really good. And we need price above all of that as we approach a 200 day moving average. And again, in the targets I just mentioned, is that going to happen? Uh, I, that's pure, pure, pure speculation, pure guess. I'm not sure about this stock at all. I don't like any stock that has these tremendous 50% declines in one day. Uh, I don't know anything about Bush Health. I'm sure it's a great company with great people, but you have to be very careful. This stock's in a bear market. We've got a lot of distance from the 200 day. We've got time we have to make up. Uh, this is all my opinion and my, uh, for entertainment purposes only, but my opinion for, for entertainment purposes only is we've got to make up at least a month here or more of some, some movement, either a sideways movement or rally up to the 200 or near the 200 before we can make any serious analysis of what's going to happen with this stock. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is this stock still firmly in a bear market, even though it's not going down, we're still in bear market territory and subject to uh, the things that stocks do in bear markets, which are these gaps like this, these straight off declines like this, and like this, this huge one day drop, it's what stocks do in bear markets. So you have to be uh, aware of all that. We're just too far away from anything uh, that we can use technically to come up with a better analysis uh, than that. Again, I think sideways probably, certainly through the end of September, if we don't go severely uh, down, and if we go up, then I think uh, in, a, in a more normal fashion of backing and filling, we might get up to 11 by sometime in, in uh, the first week of October. Again, this is all just trying to take a look at what might happen. Not necessarily, uh, I'm not predicting anything. I'm just giving you my best technical analysis. We're too far away from anything to make much of a better uh, decisions on this stock. You can watch it carefully. It's got tremendous volume today. That's why we did a video on it. Normal uh, daily volume is about 8 million shares today. It's 26 million shares. It's down a quarter, 25 cents as I look at it today, down 3%. Um, but, you know, no big deal there. This stock just has to have some more time to work itself out, in my opinion. Be 
uh, aware, though, that when you're in a bear market like this, you can get big swings one way or the other, and uh, you just have to understand that. So, again, all for entertainment purposes only and all my opinion. I've checked before. We do not, uh, RBM Research does not follow this stock. I will check and see about adding it. I, I put it on here today basically because of the huge volume. It's always great to see huge volume in a stock. Um, it shows a lot of interest, and so it's a, certainly a stock to keep an eye on. Uh, we do cover 190 stocks are out every morning by 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. This is a list of stocks for today. They're, the stocks are buy only, and they have one, five, and 20-day holding periods. Basically, that means if your own analysis uh, says it's a good idea, you could buy in a one-day column, close out, worst case, just before close of trading, the next trading day. Five-day is the same, 20-day is the same. Buy in the 20-day column and close out at the end of trading worst case uh, on the 20th trading day best case take your profits if you get them that's how these algorithms work take your profits as soon as you get them even if it's the same day you put the trade on and close out one five or 20 days worst case at a loss in case that happens so uh, these are all again for entertainment purposes only you have to do your own analysis but you can get them all free along with a lot of other things at rbamresearch.com we cover the 190 stocks we cover the major forex pairs we cover btc crypto and the most liquid futures everything but the stocks are shorts or longs uh, by 7 a.m monday through friday the stocks 190 plus stocks are longs only again rbamresearch.com there's a link in the description below absolutely no cost no credit card required you can just follow that link over to rbam research and sign up and get them every day before 7 a.m monday through friday if you like this video please click the like button if you want to subscribe get some more videos we're putting them up like crazy please do that if you can leave us a great comment about how to improve this video we'd love to hear it please leave it in the comment section below and keep in mind everything you've seen or hear heard on here including our analysis and the, the entry prices are for entertainment purposes only you definitely have to do your own analysis you can't use our analysis or entry prices for anything other than entertainment and you trade at your own risk